everyone, iOS 18 and iOS 26 are basically back to back to one another. So I wanted to kind of show you all the differences when it basically came down to their app icons. So at a high level, this is basically what we're looking at. iOS 18 is on the left, iOS 26 is on the right. And if I were to go and kind of zoom in a little bit, you're going to kind of get an idea of the difference in terms of the app icons. Now look at this. When we take a look at some of these applications, I try my best to kind of align them to their stock capability. Look at the differences automatically. The FaceTime icon, calendar icon, photos icon, all of them are very different when it comes down to it already, which is actually pretty insane. You will also notice that when we get into basically force touching into these applications, there's also a slight difference. Hold down on these particular app icons and look, even the force touch and the icons that pop out are also very different. So you can see that there's a few more icons, a few more things added throughout. It's not the biggest deal in the world, but you do kind of notice that. Also, one thing I notice is that the blurred out effect that used to be there on iOS 18 is not really there anymore. Like even when you force touch inside of an application, look at how much the background would blur and your focus would be on one particular thing. iOS 26 has removed basically like all of that force touch and all of that background blur. It's very weird. It's, this is so much more apparent in the control center. If you swipe down into the control center, look at how weird the experience is here on iOS 26. I'm not trying to be super biased, but you can kind of get an idea. Look at iOS 26 and look at iOS 18. It is very difficult, in my opinion, to see how this layout is inside of iOS you know, 26. I feel like this type of experience is a little weirder. I'm not really that big of a fan of it, and that is kind of a major turnoff for me in my personal opinion. Now hopping out of these particular applications, when you go and get out of the control center, even when you go inside of these app icons themselves, there's lots of changes. For example, inside of the app store, you're going to notice some big changes towards the bottom of these particular applications. It takes a long, longer to load up these apps now for some reason, but you'll be able to see that even the bottom bars, look at the bars here at the bottom. These bottom bars are also very, very different here for the most part as well. These app icons are very different. You can also see within the dock, the dock is also very different. We have a glass see-through dock here, whereas on the you know iOS 18 device, this was a little bit more blurred out. Once again, I am more of a fan of the blurred out approach than this type of approach on iOS 18 or 26, especially applications like settings. Look at the settings applications difference, it's pretty big. But when you tap into these applications and you kind of come back out to the main panels, look at how big of a difference there is now. There's now a search bar at the bottom of our iOS 26 device, whereas on iOS 18, there wasn't really a search bar. But these app icons are also slightly a little bit different. You can see some of them are like a little tiny bit different. Some of them might look more similar than not. And over time, these icons are probably gonna end up switching. But I will tell you that is kind of another big thing that Apple's going to end up kind of having to kind of figure out because you can see that these app icons here are a little bit bigger than they were before. I'm a fan of that. But I do feel like that in and of itself is another interesting thing that Apple kind of needs to have people kind of be okay with. Also, if you look at the bottom bar, Apple has removed that bottom bar from here. It shows up if you kind of tap it at the bottom, but then it does kind of go away. I'm actually a fan of that. I think that's one of the cool things Apple has done right here. Now, when we kind of switch over to the book, you know, back bar, this is pretty much the same. Each individual application now has an updated kind of look to it. Folders pretty much look like that. If you kind of go in front of a folder like this, it kind of, you know, with the background, it has that liquid glass approach, which is interesting. A big thing though is also with the new clear icons. If you hold down on an application like this, if you go into edit home screen like this, if you go and click on edit in the top left corner, click on customize, you'll now have this new clear option that comes up at the bottom right here. So that right there is also a slight difference. If you tap on clear here, it will go ahead and basically be cleared out all throughout. So. That right there is another cool thing Apple's just kind of thrown in here. Again, I'm not a fan of it, but that is just one other thing Apple's kind of thrown in here. And you might be a fan of it, but personally, I think the app icons on iOS 26 are good and they're okay, the icons in general. But I feel like Apple on iOS 18, this one is kind of the one that's personally my favorite right now. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. 
more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.